I can't help but smile, if only slightly, as the softest reflection of hours spent imprisoned within these white walls suddenly, too similar to quiet rooms of old, staring intently out a much bigger window, looking out over cascades of gray cutting against the sad jawline of the sky, and feel that this could all be so much worse. This too shall pass. I can't help but enable that smile, maybe a bit too long, the way I bleed it out so far over the irony that a man deathly afraid of quiet, hopeless places should find hope loudly locked indoors with nothing but the incandescent outline you left indelibly tracing the bed I spent my life dreaming in and a dream in mind that finally feels worth suffering for. And I genuinely think there's a blessing to be found here somewhere. This too shall pass. This ever shattering ego of mine still clings to first sight in real time as though yesterday weren't just a fallacy strangled in abusive state bureaucracy, conjuring a zoom open mic reenactment for two against a fractured mind's eye, the width of my bedroom equivalent to the end of the stage and the point at which I turned towards the doorway, saw you lit up under the exit sign like the garnet prodigy that sold this theater out in a pandemic economy. And suddenly I know damned well what it means to be awake. This too shall pass. The sound of your voice, in any form that should miracle it into my ear canal like a ray of sunshine whispering summer into a seedling, never ceases to mystify the most horridly scarred sides of my brain. How something so beautiful can see something so miserable and convince the echo of my last cigarette days before our bodies were made prisoners in the cages of our own homes to good night kiss my amygdala on the lips and wish her the best of luck. Heartbroken who have never produced a smile as big as the one I bear for you, this too shall pass. Weeks later and lamenting this weight like newfound years reconciling at once with your warmth so radiating through the very walls and I am nothing more than a hopeless pessimist, recklessly unwilling to continue pouring tears along the river of news streams and statistics painting death along shores we dare not think hard on just yet. And you sound so much like the answer to a prayer I forgot having recited in the first place. I can't help but meditate against the walls and listen intently for your heartbeat as the only good news I need to motivate my pulse. This too shall pass. I will wander fondly forward of days of future past, of days when my children will be stricken with contagions I dare not to give voice when I, when the heartaches and madnesses of my 20s, every ugly ism that ever made my skin an unsafe place should bear offspring that wait for my sons and daughters at the same bus stop every day after school, that same resentful malice in their eyes. God willing, I will find my fears unfounded. The bus will take a new route, and I can someday tell my children of a funny time humanity all learned to wash their hands in unison. If ever, however... I should be saddened to see a grayness clinging to their features as it once crippled mine under similar symptoms of infinite sadness. I will draw these kindred souls in close and admire how remarkably their eyes reminded me of a miracle I once saw illuminate a dark room filled with poets, and I will weep with them. This too shall pass, children. Believe in your strength, even if your hearts are the only lovers your strength should find in the darkness, let that romance be loud. As certain as love springing forth eternally brings forth light come the fall, have faith in me that your hearts will burn through winter if you believe long enough to love yourself as much as you want the light to. And please, have faith in me. This too shall pass.